What influences a business to decide on a location? Is it easy access to shipping, population, or is it the economy? Each business must independently examine the particular factors of a nation that would best suit their individual business needs. My name is Melody Simonini, and along with Mina Azarian, Ivor Isaacson, Natasha Rivers, and Sherry Sims, we make up Group 27. We will be taking you on a journey through Singapore and identifying Singapore's political, economic, sociocultural, technological, environmental, and legal systems to help you determine if Singapore is the best business location for your company. Let's learn a little bit about Singapore. Singapore is the only city-state in the entire world. Singapore is an island located between Malaysia and Indonesia in Southeast Asia. The population is approximately 500,781,728 persons. Singapore's political dichotomy and structure play a large role in the overall growth of Singapore's economy. The government of Singapore in relation to doing business is sometimes described as autocratic in nature, which brings both advantages and disadvantages. Singapore's government structure is built with English common law as a driving influence with its structure, establishing a stable base for Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Heisen Loong, who is appointed by the President as the head of governmental matters. Much like the U.S. system of government, Singapore has a legislative and judicial body. However, Singapore is looked at by some as an autocracy due to the Prime Minister's significant influence over all governmental bodies. This also is looked at by some as an advantage by eliminating delays in legislation, which is significantly present in other countries around the world. By doing this, Singapore can streamline and attract new business, allow for more global investment and expansion, increase business diversity and innovation with new capital ventures. Singapore in comparison to the U.S. presents as a partially free nation according to the Freedom House Index. Since 2006, Singapore has maintained its steadiness below its comparison to the United States. Staying between 49 and 51 on the index reflects how Singapore's government, which stays in power for lengthy terms, maintains the status quo with no significant changes with new legislation, also bringing consistency to both citizens and businesses throughout the country. The United States, in comparison, also keeps a steady pace and range on the index. However, the United States continually outpaces Singapore year after year. Singapore scores well against the United States with regards to corruption, outscoring the U.S. every year since 2006, scoring above 80. Again, this may have a direct effect to the government of Singapore's makeup. The setup of Singapore's government also allows Singapore to score high and outpace the U.S. in both political stability and rule of law. Important to note is Singapore since 2010, demonstrating a steady increase in scoring with rule of law year over year, whereas the U.S., for the most part, has maintained its current numbers. Singapore has a highly developed and successful free market economy. The primary industries include tourism, biomedical sciences, logistics, banking and finance, chemicals, and construction. Several emerging industries include casinos, healthcare, education, and communication. With a limited workforce, Singapore's unemployment rate is consistently low, which has led to a competitive job market. Before and after the global recession of 2009, Singapore experienced higher than usual inflation rates. However, the rates have continued to decrease with time. The overall GDP of Singapore has seen exponential growth in the past 10 years. However, it has begun to level out at 2% growth in 2015. However, Singapore still enjoys a higher per capita GDP than most developed countries. The GNI per capita adjusted for PPP has steadily grown year over year and currently is just over 80,000 US dollars. The economic freedom score for Singapore is 88.6, and they rank second out of 180 countries. According to the Heritage Foundation, prudent economic policies and a stable political and legal environment have been the keys to Singapore's success in maintaining a strong and dynamic economy. The Human Development Index, or HDI, of Singapore 
is classified as very high at 0.912 and ranked 11th out of 188 countries. They have averaged a 1% increase per year in the last 24 years due to improvement in life expectancy at birth, mean years of schooling, expected years of schooling, and GDP. Singapore has seen a great increase in FDI inward and outward totals since 1995. However, recently totals have been leveling out. Inward FDI was just over $978 billion, and top investors were from the United States, Japan, and the British Virgin Islands. FDI in Singapore is predominantly in the financial and insurance services, wholesale and retail trade, and manufacturing. The currency in Singapore is the Singapore dollar, which has been very stable with the US dollar. The current exchange rate is approximately 1.42 Singapore dollars to the US dollar. Since no natural resources are available in Singapore, they are heavily dependent on trade. With its ideal geographical location, Singapore is one of the world's busiest ports. With traditional exports, such as manufacturing and fuels, have flattened in the past few years, Singapore has been able to capitalize in e-commerce exports. According to PayPal, the top e-commerce exports from Singapore include electronics, jewelry, fashion, mobile phones, and sports equipment. E-commerce also impacted imports with an increase from the United States, Great Britain, China, and Australia. Singapore is a member of the now 11-nation Trans-Pacific Partnership, as well as the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership negotiations with the nine other ASEAN members, plus Australia, China, India, Japan, South Korea, and New Zealand. In 2015, Singapore formed with the other ASEAN members, the ASEAN Economic Community. Singaporeans are a very well-educated populace. This is evidenced by them receiving the highest ranking in last year's Program for International Student Assessment. By comparison, the United States ranked 25th. Singaporean students receive the highest scores in all three categories of science, reading, and mathematics. This foundation allows these students to go on to become some of the most outstanding performers in the workforce. Many of their citizens are also multilingual, speaking both their mother tongue and English. There are four official national languages, Malay, English, Mandarin, and Tamil. These bilingual abilities serve the Singaporean workforce well when doing business. Many religions live in harmony in Singapore, while a third practice Buddhism, Islam, and Taoism are also widely practiced. This ability to set differences aside shows what team players Singaporeans can be. Hofstede's data shows Singaporeans to be more focused on the collective, while the United States has a more individual focus. This again emphasizes the team effort Singaporeans bring to the business world. They also demonstrate a higher power distance and more pragmatism than their American counterparts. Trompenar's measures of this population can also be interpreted to demonstrate the collective importance in the Singaporean mindset. Over the last decade, Singapore has invested more than 30 billion Singaporean dollars into research and development. Even though Singapore continues to contribute multi-billions to research and development yearly, Singapore continues to trail the United States. The United States also leads Singapore significantly in scientific and technical journal articles. The United States also outranks Singapore in innovation indexes. Singapore has consistently scored higher than the United States in the Environmental Protection Index. This bodes well for environmentally aware companies wishing to expand into the area. Various environmental indicators are comparable to those of the United States. However, the U.S. far exceeds Singapore in agriculture and forest, as the small island nation has neither of these resources. These industries must be outsourced for Singapore. Singapore's Intellectual Property Office, known as the IPOS, administers and implements law regarding intellectual property of both its citizens as well as its businesses. Singapore has maintained a higher index score than the U.S. each year since 2007. This index gives a holistic view and score of not only intellectual property rights, but also physical and environmental property as well.
Singapore's government is strongly committed to their business development strategies. The national objective is to increase GDP with focuses on developing industry standards, low taxation, low inflation rates, and friendly policies and laws ideal for the business environment. Its strategic location in Southeast Asia, along with accessible ports, create an ideal geographical area for commodity trading, exports, and business ventures. Singapore's rich cultural and historical landscape makes it a choice destination for business investors and opportunities. Knowledge and education are key ingredients for Singapore's workforce and business development. This, coupled with a supportive political structure, is a strong draw for professionals and expatriates who desire world-class business opportunities. One of the disadvantages is that Singapore is a country, state, and city collectively, making the delineation of control cumbersome at first glance. The high reliance on Malaysia for water resources has put a strain and heavy reliance on resources and relations with the neighboring country. The languages in Singapore are also quite diverse, making it challenging for locals and business people alike. Identified threats to Singapore include the rising cost of living, along with the aging population creating challenges for the domestic market and growth rates compared to other areas in Asia and the global market. After all is said, we hope that you can see why Singapore tops the list of locations for business development and maintaining its competitive edge. We really do believe that we have a, a position that nobody else can replicate. We have huge venture capital in Singapore. We have a number of startups that are growing here. We have a great entrepreneurship spirit and community. We have some of the biggest multinationals in the world consider Singapore their Asia-Pacific hub. We also have two top 50 world-ranked universities here, and we have multi-billions worth of R&D every year. No other country has that same type of ingredient mix.